What's going on guys? Matt Schaefer back here with another install for you. This one is a brand new Ford Bronco. Little Hi-Fi 3 action. So let's go check it out. Since we always start with the rear, we will start with that. Give you a little synopsis here of what's going on with this system and why we did it the way that we did. So, starting off with this enclosure. This is a custom enclosure housing three 10 inch TW3 JL Audio subwoofers. Um, so each sub is down firing. This area down here is going to be our vent. So basically the air is gonna release through these slots here. And then in the back, there's also another vent um, underneath the rear seats, which allows the air to move from underneath the enclosure. Now, reason we did it like this is a lot of times he's gonna be rolling around with the top off completely. So down firing subs are more times than not gonna keep the energy of that subwoofer as it's loaded into the ground and it's gonna keep a lot of that sound within the car rather than having that energy getting released out into the open. So this is always a better option. Obviously also weather protects the subwoofers and he can still throw all his beach gear back here on top of this as we carpeted everything to keep everything very durable and weather resistant. So the top of this is basically done in a composite material. That way, again, he can throw a bunch of stuff in here. It can physically rain on here. The subs are protected. Sound stays inside the car. And this top, uh, you can kind of see from the side, overhangs. So even if you lean something here, it's not gonna hit the acrylic front uh, decor of this subwoofer enclosure. So if you look at that Bronco done in white, we look back at the, the front grille, you'll see the Bronco lettering is done exactly the same way. So that's where that inspiration came from. And as far as this design, basically mimicked what you see here. So those little slots are gonna mimic that to make everything look OEM and as organic as possible. Now, you see these JL wakeboard tower speakers up here, eight inch wakeboard tower speakers. So the reason we did this is this client has a lakefront property and he oftentimes uses this as like a, like a, a tailgate truck or a truck that he pulls up near his dock to where this becomes more of a, you know, a party party zone, if you will. So there's a separate preset to basically make these rear wakeboard towers absolutely jam, and it uses a little less of the sub, but it uses a sub to fill everything in. And uh, these things jam when you're like 200 feet behind this Bronco here. I mean, they're absolutely awesome. Obviously RGB lighting, we can control that to whatever we want or turn it off as he's driving because he's not gonna want these lit up as he's driving in a normal day scenario. So those can be turned off. We made some aluminum brackets to make it work with the frame of the Bronco. So all aluminum structure, how it mounts to the Bronco. And if you notice, these things are color matched using that Area 51 paint to match to the Bronco. So they look actually really, really good, especially when these lights turn off. So in a normal scenario, I mean, these things look, they look factory and they're awesome, provide a lot of sound. And in our front uh, tune setup for these rear speakers, we have these things very attenuated. So it's just adding rear fill as it's you know, reflecting off this glass here back into the interior. So we did utilize these as our factory type rear fill as the factory pods were in these locations which are now removed. So we are utilizing these in a party mode and in the regular interior SQ mode. So pretty cool addition to those speakers. And again, our down firing enclosure looks Looks the part back here, looks very nice and OEM. Now to quickly run you through the interior again, this is very simple, so this isn't gonna take long to explain. We have our factory speaker location here for the mid-range, and there's basically a middler here from the factory. And this came with the B&O system, and the non-B&O is identical when it comes to speaker location. So we put our Focal mid-range here, I can overlay a picture, 
And then we have our Focal tweeter, which we just use the pods they come with, added them to this uh, factory A pillar here. They look nice, they're in a great location. And then the factory location for the six inch mid base is down there in the kick panel. I can overlay a picture of what that looks like down there. So we already talked about the rear speakers are using those pods. So we have four separate presets. Uh, preset number one is going to use the OEM radio with the front speaker set up and the rear pods utilizing them as more rear fill. Preset number two is gonna be a Bluetooth chip that docks into our Helix V12 DSP amplifier. That is what we use as the main brains and amp for this vehicle. And that is gonna have a connection from our phone directly to the DSP processor. Um, so that's gonna keep uh, our best signal integration into the factory stereo. Uh, now we also do have a nav TV interface that interfaces with a factory uh, amplifier location. So we're getting a perfect digital signal toss link from the factory radio to our DSP amplifier. In this case, we added the Bluetooth chip because the client, when he's in the party mode, a lot of times he's gonna be well, well behind the back of the vehicle. Uh, so that's gonna give him better Bluetooth range and again, sound quality from that location as he's in party mode. So preset number two is gonna be that Bluetooth with the interior sound cue setup. And then preset three is gonna be our OEM radio with the party speakers. So again, this is where the, the tower speakers are ripping and the subwoofer is kind of attenuated. And then our preset four is gonna be our Bluetooth with our party speaker setup. And as far as the subwoofer amplifier, we use the Helix P1 MK2 amplifier, which resides underneath this seat. The Helix V12 and the Nav TV interface is tucked on an amp rack behind that panel. So yeah, that's it guys. Pretty easy setup, pretty straightforward. Don't have to get in the weeds talking about uh, a bunch of minutia. This one, again, pretty simple compared to most that we do. I just wanna thank you guys for following along and continuing to support the channel and the work that we do here at Mosaic Design. If you don't follow us yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that alert button, notifying you anytime we drop a new video. Also, if you wanna follow us on TikTok, here's my handle below. If you wanna follow us on Instagram, here's our three handles. You got at the real Matty S, that's my personal, Mosaic Design, and then of course, Sound Effects Automotive. You can follow those three right there. If you're an audiophile or an enthusiast and you wanna listen to more in-depth uh, technical talking, if you will, or everyday shop stuff. I have a podcast called the Old Fashioned Car Audio Podcast. We have a lot of great guests that are a blast from the past, from car audio history to modern day audio, to vendors, to installers, to, you know, anything really industry related. You can find that on Spotify or anywhere you get your podcast. It's called the Old Fashioned Car Audio Podcast. So go subscribe to that now if you haven't yet. If you want to see all the work that we've done, you can check out our website, mosaicdesign.com. This is going to be the best source of information to see all the work that we've done. You can search by make, manufacture, type of build, and all the YouTube videos that we've done with each corresponding build and build log for all the pictures are attached to each one of those albums. So go check that out. And like always, guys, I appreciate the feedback. I appreciate the follow. I appreciate the support. And until next time.